Hello there, Nareg is here. Today I'm going to talk about, again, the quadratic equations, but we're going to be interested in a small part where we're going to discuss how to solve these quadratic equations by using the sum and the product of the roots. Now, what is the general form of quadratic equations? Um, it's ax squared plus bx plus c, which is equal to zero. Of course, we should mention that a should be different than zero in order to keep it in the quadratic form. Now, um, what about the sum and the product? Whenever the roots exist, which means whenever delta is positive or equal to zero, so the, ro the roots x1 and x2 will exist. So in this case, I can calculate the sum. What about the sum? The sum is equal to S, it's X1 plus X2, which is equal to minus B minus square root of delta over 2A plus minus B plus square root of delta over 2A. So you will have minus 2b over 2a, which is equal to minus b over a. So minus b over a is actually the sum. It represents the sum of the roots whenever they exist. Now, what about the product? The product is equal to x1 times x2. So it will be equal to... Uh, minus b minus square root of delta over 2a times minus b plus square root of delta over 2a. So the answer will be b squared minus um, square root of delta to the power of 2 is delta. And delta is b squared minus 4ac over 4a squared. So we will have b squared minus b squared is negative is uh, zero. They will cancel out. So whatever remains is 4ac over 4a squared. The final result will be c over a. So this is um, the product of the roots whenever they exist. So my equation. If I divide my initial equation ax squared plus bx plus c by a, by minus a, I will obtain um, an equation with s and p. So how, how can I write this equation as in the form of s and p? It will be x squared minus s x plus p is equal to 0. So the equation that we had, ax squared plus bx plus c, which is, which is equal to 0, I can write it down using the sum and the product. I will have to check that I should divide by a, so it will give me x squared plus b over a, x plus c over a. While b over a is minus s, so I will replace it by minus s, and c over a is p. So this equation is... Um, a quadratic form when you, where you have S and P, the sum and the product of the roots. So, what, what happens if my equation is in the form of X squared minus SX plus P, which is equal to zero? If I want to um, calculate delta, delta will be equal to b squared minus 4ac. In this case, you should pay attention that b is minus s to the power of 2 minus 4 times a is 1. c is p. So delta will be equal to s squared minus 4p. So whenever you have any equation which is in the form of x squared minus sx plus p, which is equal to zero. You can say that delta, instead of its, uh, instead of saying is equal to b b squared minus four ac, it's s squared minus four p. So this form can be used uh, directly. Now, 
let's take uh, some examples and we're gonna discuss how to calculate of course delta or how to find the equation and even we can find the roots so let's take a few examples what if we had um, this equation let's say 2x squared plus square root of 2x minus 3 is equal to 0 if you pay attention, this is not in the form of x squared plus minus sx plus p. In order to have in the form of um, quadratic equation where s and p are obvious, I should divide by 2. So I will divide by 2. My equation will be transformed to 2 over 2 x squared plus square root of 2 over 2 x minus 3 over 2 is equal to 0. So the equation will be x squared plus square root of 2 over 2 x minus 3 over 2 is equal to 0. This is similar to x squared minus sx plus p which is equal to 0. So I can deduce that s is actually equal to minus square root of 2 over 2 which is of course minus b over a and p is equal to minus 3 over 2 which is c over a alright so this is how you deduce about the sum and the product using your equation now what about um, the existence of its roots so when you have s and p let's say I'm gonna calculate delta delta is equal to s squared minus 4p so it will be uh, 4 over 2, 2 over 4 minus 4 times 3 over 2 minus 3 over 2 so it will be 1 over 2 plus 6 it's a positive value so I have two distinct real roots how am I supposed to find the roots you simply use your formula x1 is equal to minus b minus square root of delta over 2a or x2 is equal to minus b plus square root of delta over 2a so in this way you can transform your equation from ax squared plus bx plus c to an equation where s and p do exist and you will have to simply calculate delta and you will know about the existence of its roots um, what about other examples where I have the value of s and the value of p? Let's say s is equal to 6 and p is equal to 4. So I have two roots whose sum is 6 and it's, their product is 4. So in order to um, find out the equation, very simple you say that the form general the general form is x squared minus sx plus p which is equal to zero you replace s and p by its values so your equation will be transformed to x squared minus 6x plus 4 which is equal to zero you calculate delta delta is equal to s squared minus 4p so it's equal to 36 minus 16 it's 20 it's a positive value so I have two real distinct roots in order to calculate these roots you simply have to use your formula x1 is equal to minus um, minus 6 minus square root of 20 over 2 so you will have um, 3, 3 minus square root of 5. x2 is equal to minus minus 6 plus 6 plus square root of 20 over 2. So you will have 3 plus square root of 5. And this is how you find your uh, real distinct roots by using the sum and the product now another example what if I had 
s is equal to 3 and p is equal to 7. In this case, the general form is x squared minus sx plus p, which is equal to 0. I do the replacement. So x squared minus 3x plus 7 is equal to 0. I will calculate delta. Delta is equal to s squared minus 4p is equal to 9 minus 4 times 7. So it's 9 minus 28. It's a negative value. I can say that this equation has no real roots. So I cannot find two values, x1 and x2, whose sum is 3 and the product is 7. In this case, you will have no real roots. All right. So this was um, the video where, where you, you're using the sum and the product of the roots in order to find and solve a qu the, the roots or to solve the quadratic equation. Why don't you subscribe to my channel? You will be notified whenever I upload new videos. I can also share with you my Instagram and Facebook account. You can contact me directly or you can simply leave a comment below. I hope it was helpful and see you next time.